hello welcome back to my channel my name is Odette and uh, today we have a different type of video we have had hold ups upstairs to finish the guest bathroom due to supplies really um, we are in lockdown so these things do happen so I decided today to show you our garden what is quite a good sized garden and we really enjoy it and the girls as well so let me show you around so this is uh, the beginning of our driveway we have entrance to there and uh, we can take any credit for this it really was most of it already here we just have moved or transplanted some to different parts of the garden um, credit is all to the previous owner that they've done a fantastic job at the moment we are just discovering the garden really every day is a new flower coming through that we never knew we had we have this beautiful beautiful orange flowers coming through I have no idea what they are but they are absolutely gorgeous. We have bluebells just about everywhere, which is fantastic. We have that clematis just came to flower in the last few days, and it's absolutely amazing. So this is our front garden slash driveway. Yes, we have a lot of rubbish. We are living through uh, renovation project after all and we can get hold of a skip at the moment so we have it piled up in here this is what I call the dark shady little side garden it's mainly ferns because it doesn't get much sun in here as you can see this is 12 o'clock in the afternoon now so it doesn't get much sun at all but the ferns seem to like it here, so I keep transplanting ferns from elsewhere in the garden into here. That is a, what we call a butterfly bush, a white one, so it will look very nice when it comes into flower. So this is one of our side entrances. So when we move into the back garden, so we have this beautiful plant in here. Unfortunately, we will have to move because there will be changes here as i have explained before we're going to have an overhang running all the way to the length of the patio area here very soon so that will have to to be relocated so this is all these beautiful flowers i got this one today from a local nursery and it's absolutely gorgeous uh, I'm about to plant on that wall over there. Mr. B already have run the wires for me. So the idea is to cover all of that wall because it's quite ugly. We have a lot of little knickknacks in here. They belong to Queen, Queen Bee. Another little project is here waiting to be done. Um, they are very wobbly at the moment, so we're going to have to dismantle, sand down, clean, stain again, and then uh, re reassemble them. So that's a project waiting to be done. We have all these beautiful flowers. We never even knew we had them. Um, I have planted some of my own in here but at the moment this time of the year the garden looks absolutely gorgeous this is a mix of flowers already here and flowers that i brought bought with us brought with us when we when we moved some of them i've been able to buy in here mainly in the supermarkets when I do the weekly shopping for food and I seen them and I 
pick them up like this one there that's a magnolia tree so we already had a flower I don't know if you can see but there's another one coming up there so just whatever we can get because of the lockdown hasn't been easy to get hold of things like I said the bluebells are everywhere me is following me so um that's water buds so that we can harvest rain water to use in the garden we have this beautiful flower plant we have no idea what this is but it's almost like disappeared over the winter and now started to grow and this week it, this beautiful yellow flowers came up if any of you guys know what this is let me know in the comments below because uh, it's just the most intriguing weird beautiful plant and we don't know what it is so more bluebells as you can see we have them everywhere me is having a rest in the shade and here is my vegetable patch or my attempt anyway so we have some cabbage runner beans uh, munch too and tomatoes so i still have plenty of space left here um but because of the lockdown this year there isn't a lot we can get really i usually get herbs herbs for the, the kitchen as well, but I haven't been able to get hold of any this year. That's all strawberries we brought from the south with us. Uh, they are doing really well. The border there, very beautiful. Um, we have some aliums coming out now. Aliums, sorry if I'm not pronouncing them right. Um, these ones have become quite tall, although I don't think they are the big giant ones. Um, red currant uh, bush. I'm not sure if he's going to give us anything. He didn't give us anything last year. This is my uh, light fixture in the garden. I made this myself. So if you look in the videos, I've done a tutorial video about this. Uh, it's really nice. It still works, obviously. And it lights up at night. It's really pretty. So we have this sitting area here. That lately we don't use much because, well, because we are busy. So probably can see better from this angle all of that wall there that's going to be for the exterior and all the way up probably get a better view far away that's what we have we have a blue tit nesting on that little house there. This is my quirky salvage everything attitude. So as you can see, I'm saving that because I want to do a water fixture at some point. So that's why we are using, that's the steel that was upstairs in the loft when we removed to do the opening for the cabrio window is in there because I'm sure I can use it on something. That's my bike. I have had it for many years. This is my potato patch. Blueberry bush there. We had plenty of blueberries last year. And this, I have planted potatoes. If, not, if I can show you closely. They are starting to come through my potatoes. I watered them yesterday because it was a very hot day. 
So let's see if we can get any potatoes out of that. Another of my little projects. So uh, you're quite sentimental about plants and some of these plants, they have a meaning to us. This beautiful plant is in a pot and that's because we bought it in memory of my mom when my mom passed. We bought this and we bought an Asteria. But when we moved house last summer, I didn't have the heart to unroot the, the Asteria. Hence the one I bought today because I want to replace it. Because for me, we always call them mom, mom's plants. So this is a Victoria plum tree that I have planted this year. This one here, I think the family says it's a Canadian maple. This is what we call dad's tree. And this is like the second baby of the original one. So every time we move house, I get the cutting and we use. So it's doing really well, um, dad's tree. And my vegetable patch over there Let's go back in there and I can show you. We have an apple tree in here and this is apple bromley so that I can do baking and cooking with it. We have a cherry tree here. This is all trees, fruit trees that I've been able to buy this year. You probably will recognize some of the labels on these fruit trees. Uh, past experience have told me that you don't need to be expensive ones because they tend to perform really well. So we are towards the end of the garden. Brought this one from Queen's, Queen's Bee House this week. I'm hoping it will work. It's a bit sad at the moment because it's just been transplanted. We have another fruit tree over there. Um, big rhubarb we keep eating rhubarb um, it's doing really well we don't do nothing to it it just grows it's beautiful and this is something one of the few things we've done in the garden really this is um, we had a lot of rocks around the garden and uh, we kept throwing them down here then we came up with the idea to create uh, to build a rockery so where and when we can find plants some of them they came from the bottom of the garden we took some from there and honestly we just literally dropped them in there last year and uh, just stayed like that i didn't think much of it and for my surprise this year they just came through i think we only have lost one grass still have another one there uh, the other day when we are in Trade Point, I run into the garden center and uh, I got some succulents for the outside, what I'm really excited about it. More bluebells, they just grow everywhere in here, but we are really pleased. This is new in here, and I don't even know what this is. Oh yeah, lemongrass, I didn't plant it either, it's just show up here somehow. So yes, this is still work in progress here. We are planning to do a few more things and plant a few more plants, but it's literally, we just throw the plants here last winter before the winter settled in and we are just lucky really. They just have settled really well. The monkey tree I got for Mr. B five or six years ago. She seemed to like it here as well. So, this is it guys, very different from all the building work that we usually fills or videos. Uh, something beautiful and easy for this unsettling times. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I do appreciate and please stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.